What's going on? This is uh, Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And uh, today I'm going to be working on some uh, door speakers and stuff in the whip. Uh, 2019 Ford Expedition uh, Platinum. Uh, this is with the B and O uh, sound system. Eh, now that I, I have it, it's not really doing it for me. So I want to I want it to be a little bit more crisp. I already have like subs and stuff in, my, in the back and they uh, kind of overpower everything that's happening. Uh, so this is kind of like stage one where I go through and I swap uh, all the speakers uh, out in the car that are uh, available that I can get to. Uh, the sub in the back, that's still hooked up. I'm actually running that one with a line out converter to power my subs uh, that I have back there now. And that's gonna be an update whenever the I think my for sure sub that I'm keeping here because the 15s that I have in here that are transferred over from my other car they're a little bit too much and I'm losing my third row and it's not that I have a whole bunch of need for a third row I just if I have the functionality I kind of want to you know have it there so uh, I'm gonna end up taking out the 15s and I'm going with the 10 but I'll tell you about that whenever the 10 and stuff comes in and there's gonna be a whole install for that uh, but like I said, this is the B&O system. So I think it's a 7.1. So you got the tweeters up here that I think are components of the doors. So maybe it's a 5.1. There's a uh, speaker that's up front directly in the center console. I think that's like a two and three fourths or maybe a three inch speaker there. And if you look in the back pillars back there, there are two uh, of the same size speaker in the back pillars plus the back doors. And I think that's all the audio that's in here for now. But I did want to go ahead and upgrade. And I did want to try out this brand. Uh, I went ahead and bought the uh, replacement ring. So it should be a pretty one-to-one -one fit. And if it doesn't fit, I'll make it fit. <laughs> so uh, I should go meet up one-to-one. -one. So it's just a speaker. And it's inside of a uh, speaker, kind of a speaker retainer. And that's what the factory speaker kind of looks like. So this is going to be in the back doors. This is a three-way. Should be pretty crisp, pretty solid magnet on the back of it. And uh, once I take off uh, the door speaker in the back, I can like compare the magnet size. And I'm pretty sure that back one's going to be really small compared to this. Um, so that's in the back doors. And then in the front doors, to my surprise, are six by nines. And here's the same thing with the uh, speaker retainer and stuff like that. Four ohms all the way around, make sure of that. And this is DS18, it's just a different line. I wanted I wanted more high end. So this may be a little bit tweeter heavy, but that's fine. I want it to scream because I'm gonna have my sub handling all the uh, kick and all that good stuff. So that's just how I wanna set my stuff up. Uh, so this is a five way speaker, I think. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So woofer plus, so it should scream. It may not kick hard, but it should it should scream. I should get my, my my snare sounds out of it pretty easy. I'm looking forward to that. I think it's titanium drivers. Here is the model of it. I picked these up off of, uh, I think Amazon, or right around 40 bucks each. So yeah. We're gonna see what they do. We're gonna see how they get down. Pretty excited about it. Uh, yeah. So I'm. I'll bring you back once I get the door off. There's gonna be five screws that are there. Uh, if you look on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can find it. But let me go ahead and show you where they are. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna swap this around. So here, there's gonna be two screws that are in here. And then there's gonna be two screws that are down here, over there. And then there's one screw that's in here. So uh, I don't have a tripod, but I'll let you see everything once I get it all worked out. I'll be back in a little minute. All right, so uh, here is panel off. So I did take uh, the screw that was in here, took that out. I showed you the locations of uh, the other screws there. Uh, this is what the factory woofer looks like. So I'm about to get those off and I'm trying to do it with one hand. Get that off, get that started. 
and I'll <laughs> see if it actually works out. One second. All right. I went ahead and bought uh, the factory clips that go in there so I don't have to worry about soldering anything. So this clip is gonna mate to this one from the factory setting. And then that's gonna officially put it in the right polarity and uh, I won't have to mess with anything. So that takes a lot of guesswork out of uh, installing the speakers. And it only cost maybe like eight bucks and it came in a pack of two. Uh, the rings themselves were, I think 20 these and that came in a pack of two. The speakers ended up being about 43, $46 or so. Uh, that came in pairs. So right around a hundred bucks to fully upgrade. It's, it's not a bad investment if you want to do it. So, uh, I said I was going to show the magnet. So this is what that magnet looks like. And then this is what this magnet looks like. So it is a magnet, so it's effective, but as far as, you know, woofer pull, that's what we are working with here. So this is an upgrade that I'm glad I'm doing and uh, it's been in the works for a while. So I'll uh, hop back on it once I get to the back doors and uh, show you the whole process. So yeah. All right, so uh, just finished the uh, passenger side door. Looking pretty good. I gotta do all these plugs. I didn't tell you uh, for this screw here and then the two bottom screws that's on the bottom of the door panel it is a seven millimeter that you're gonna need i believe yes and then for these screws that are inside the door you're gonna need a five sixteenths uh and that'll be able to i don't know why they're two different sizes but that's the two that you need uh and again seven millimeter here on the bottoms of the doors down there or down there and uh five sixteenths for the middle screws that go here so uh yeah but this is what it looks like i had to do uh three different clips to get it to where i could um you know work on it take it out put it back in and this actually fit really good so i was extremely happy about that all right what's going on uh this is the last one i actually got into the mode so deep that i forgot to actually record the back door of me taking the panel off um i didn't know that it was going to be three screws that was holding the back uh panel so there's just like the front just like the front up there there's the two screws that are here and here there's a three clip thing you have to pull behind there and then there's one screw underneath there i was expecting two but uh, same sizes, the 5 16th on the two screws here, and then the seven millimeter on the screw that's down there, 5 16th, seven millimeter there. And uh, again, the door, the little holder thing actually was the same uh, size as the factory one. So it was just a quick boom, boom, boom. I actually had more problem doing the clip, uh, putting the uh, clips back in than actually installing the speaker. That was because I can't, my hands are big and I'm trying to reach around and plug in the clip, get all the stuff, make sure all the stuff works. But yeah, so I'm gonna uh, open the door and then I'll show you. What's up? I'll show you. Hey, you <laughs> dude said it sounds good. <laughs> so I will show y'all what, uh, what it sounds like. So here we go. This is with no bass. Are you old still getting no love? Are you can get as a fuck you get mad if you fuck kiss my back ass? Yeah. Are you old still getting no love? Are you can get as a fuck you? So it's clear. Very crisp. I wanted it to scream. I wanted my slaps. You know. Understand so, why you hate me. Cause I'm on the radio and on the TV. And your baby mama won't stop calling my phone Cause I got caught up in the game It sounds nice man The bass probably won't carry But yeah it's doing it So yeah Yeah, man. 
So yeah. Yeah, so I gotta dial in my uh subs because it's uh I think I got my bass boost up and the amp that I have that I'm running now is a little bit too serious and I'm running uh a uh, down for sound joint. Yeah, I got the bass boost on. So let's bring that down a little bit. A little subsonic. Bring down some of this low pass. So yeah, so yeah, boom, boom, boom. So back there, tucked away, pretty clean. Yeah, man. Close it up. And that is, that's the video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm about, about to flip around a little bit, draw my sub. Enjoy my music. So yeah. Y'all say easy. And I'll join you in the next time.